Welcome in everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I get high score on the Lost Sands event boss. Now, this boss is vulnerable to expose, so you don't need an extra expose charm on your armor. Even a weapon with just 50% expose chance should do well versus this boss because it's vulnerable to it. Now, the build that I'm using is full glass cannon, it's all warrior charms uh, and I'm using the small guild boss weapon I've built as well. It's level 11, it's got 90% exposed chance and it's got 90% focus chance for the maverick gauntlet which I'm taking this time because the best hero to use for this guild boss is Erin and she is maverick type so I'm going to get an extra 30% damage from using the maverick gauntlet alongside this hero. And she's got the distribution rage. She's strong versus outlaw. You can get a very good score with this setup. Now, if you are a hunter build, if you've got hunter charms on your on your build, you can use Grax. He's distribution rage again, which is great for guild bosses. And you'll be able to get a, a really nice score with him. Now, if you mage, you might think that Azar is the best hero because he's unique, but he's not. Cladis is the best hero for this guild boss. He gets 50% crit chance versus outlaw enemies at uh, max stars. And he's got the distribution rage as well. And the numbers uh, get even higher than when you're using Azar. But for me, I'm taking Erin and I'm taking Nijiro as well for the extra 30% crit chance from warrior heroes. Now, as usual with these guild bosses, you need to be two rounds in one turn each. So I'm gonna use potions for that. Cause I want to try to set a decent score. And I'm just gonna try and rage in the first two rounds. Now with this guild boss, you can't normally punch event bosses on round 3, but you can punch this one because it comes with protect. So that allows you to punch on round 3. Uh, and then expose with the weapon and let your rage off. And then you just continue doing that throughout the rounds, bringing itself down as far as you can with the punches, exposing with the weapon, and then raging at the end of your second turn. lucky enough to get some crits uh, from Erin then you're probably going to get a decent spot on this boss Uh, if you've got as many hero charms as I have, you can't get away with using an Erin base power throughout this fight. Even on round 7, it'll just wipe it out before you get a chance to rage. So you're better off saving it up, using your punches and raging on round 7. And that's all there is to it really. Uh, it's, you've just got to get into a rhythm with your weapon, with your focus weapon and your punching. Get your expose up, get into a rhythm with your rage. And then try light it off every single round. And you get a decent score. I've been James B on 9. Good luck out there.